it's such an honor to be able to announce this adoption of GEO's law here in Suffolk County. It is 10 years ago now that Georgina Carago's teenage son Giovanni collapsed on his way into the emergency room after taking one bite of some trail mix that contained peanuts. I promised Giovanni when he was laying in that hospital bed that it would happen and I'm working very, very hard to see that it will happen. Her 14-year-old son died from the allergic reaction. Now a bill in his memory that will equip every Suffolk County police car with an EpiPen has been passed unanimously by the county legislature. We already have Narcan on police cars to save opioid overdoses. Why this is not part of it is beyond me, but today we changed that. Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone has not yet signed the EpiPen legislation. The County Executive Steve Ballone is still reviewing this legislation. It's not clear at this point if he will sign it. An issue with state legislation versus what has been passed in Suffolk may be holding up the County Executive's approval. State legislators say they don't believe there will be a problem. EMTs were already equipped with EpiPens in Suffolk County, supplying Suffolk County police cars with the devices that reverse the effects of allergic reactions is expected to cost the police department a total of $69,000 a year. I have no idea why this was not done before. New York State passed GEO's law four years ago. A spokesperson for Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman says he has yet to review a bill almost identical to Suffolk's that has just been introduced and will consult with the police department, unions, and the health commissioner regarding the efficacy of such a proposal. This small amount of money that we will spend on these pens will change people's lives, hopefully throughout the whole state. The picture of her son around her neck, a token of both the pain of such loss and her commitment to educate and protect the estimated 200,000 Americans who require emergency care for a medical reaction to food each year. Steve Langford, 4 Newsday TV.